Golf Central on YouTube. Brought to you by the Chrome Soft Golf Ball from Callaway. Hello, I'm Anna Jackson, and this is your Golf Central update. Well, we're a week away now from the President's Cup, and two event rookies can't wait to get started next week at Quail Hollow. I don't know why that phone call finally just broke it down, and I felt very accomplished. I talk about fulfillment a lot, and the opportunity to represent my country as a part of the President's Cup is tremendous, but the thing that's been lingering in my brain since that phone call is I set out a goal at the end of last year and I said I'm making this President's Cup team. It's part of the, you know, to Ron's question about the, the live stuff is like I, I would not trade my attempt at my goal for anything. Like that's what matters to like my, like my like soul. And to fulfill that like promise to myself that I was making this freaking team <laughs> meant a lot to me like that. So, so as much as I'm excited, as excited as I am to play next week and be with the guys and, and like I said, represent uh, the United States of America on a golf course is, is amazing. But to me getting to like tell myself that I accomplished a, a serious goal I had and that's why I worked so hard like that, that has hit home a lot for me and it's made me feel really, really good about, um, all the hours and, uh, you know, the heat in Arizona. Uh, it just, it, I, I feel a lot of pride in that. It was definitely a, a huge goal. Um, you know, it was really close to making the team in 2019 in Australia and um, stung a little bit to, to not make the team. Um, definitely you know, motivated me to keep working hard to make sure I earn my spot uh, on the team this time around. And, uh, you know, consistent golf was... Uh, you know, worked out well, was able to kind of stay in the automatic qualifier uh, slot for quite a while. And um, you know, I'm thrilled to be on my first uh, President's Cup team. It's been great uh, interacting with the guys, and I know what a blast it, it'll be uh, next week. We'll have a lot of fun and uh, hopefully uh, play some good golf. Well, let's take a look at the international team. You've got Connors there and other players, including Adam Scott, the veteran of the team. This will be Scott's 10th President's Cup. You've also got four South Korean players in Sung Jae-M, Siwoo Kim, Tong Kim and KH Lee. And you see Nito Pereira coming off his rookie year alongside Taylor Pendrith, Colombia's Sebastian Munoz and South Africa's Christian Bestaden, who round out the team. So with that, we're very pleased to welcome in Christian Bersaden out to Golf Central. Really good to see you, Christian. A, a captain's pick by Trevor Emmelman this year. First of all, just tell us that it must have been such a special moment for you. How did it feel to get the call to be part of the international team? Yeah, it was a really uh, special moment for me. Um, I was definitely one of my goals for this year was to make the Prisoners' Cup side. Um, and to, to, to be under Captain a woman this, this year, I've got to know him over the last few years out on the PJ Tour. Uh, he's a great guy. He's going to be a great captain and he's going to lead lead our, lead our team from the front. So uh, I'm really looking forward to a fantastic week next, next week. Well, without a doubt, your captain, Trevor Ilmerman, he truly does believe in you. And no surprises, as always, going in to this cup. The United States are thought to be, you know, the hot favourite next week. Um, how do you deal with that underdog mentality and the ways that, you know, we see it with Europe in the Ryder Cup and how that could help the internationals sort of unite and use that as motivation? Yeah, I mean, I think, I th I think uh, everybody knows that the... the US side or definitely the stronger side on paper. Uh, you can you can see it in the world rankings and over the last three years of play. Um, but I think our international side are uh, we hungry to go into the week to um, to stamp our mark down in his history and to try to win the cup for the first time on American soil and only the second time in history, so um, we we were shot a couple of weeks ago, and um, all the boys are hungry for next week. Everybody is going to arrive there, ready to take the USC mark.
each of you in this 12-man team are going to be playing a big part. You're just coming off the best PGA Tour season of your career. You made 20 cuts. Have you talked a little bit to Trevor about the role on the team, what you will bring to it, and perhaps even who you can see yourself playing with? Yeah, you know, we in that practice session that we had uh, a couple of weeks ago, we we uh, tried to play play with a couple of different guys uh, over that two days just to feel each other out, and then um, but nothing has has been as has, has been said yet of who's going to play with who, and I think uh, Trevor and the statistic guys they behind the scenes working hard every day on on you know, getting all the perfect bearings together so um, all of our trust on them and we just, whoever they, they put us together we're gonna just play as hard as we can and hopefully we can bring a cup uh, back well, one thing we do know, Christian, is that you will have one of the best short games that the international team have got to offer. Um, so congratulations on making the team. Uh, we can't wait to watch the competition. It's going to be great. So uh, enjoy the experience. Thanks a lot, guys. I really appreciate it. And as for this week, the PGA Tour kicks off its new season at the Fortnite Championship in Napa, California. It'll be the final time the Tour features a full portion of events that offers FedEx Cup points, as the Tour transitions away from a wraparound season in 2024. Plus, it will also be the first season that players will be getting a stipend, $500,000, which is good news for some of those rookies. It's definitely a comfort level. You know, professional golf's expensive, and, um, you know, having the financial... You know, comfort to start the year is really nice. Um, but, you know, it doesn't really change much. You know, I'm still playing golf. Uh, other than the, the comfort level, it's just still the same game I've always played. So that's about it. <laughs> I think that's definitely um, help us, you know, t for myself, at least I'll make like 500K this year. And then that definitely I don't have to think about it. Like, oh, how much? I de definitely I had to think about how much I'm going to spend. But, like, the just, um, you don't have to. We don't have to think about all oh, this week. I'm losing 3K, this week, that week, this 5K, that kind of stuff. Just, you know, I can go out on course and just play my best golf out there. So I think that's definitely um, really, really helpful for the, all the rookies. I think it's awesome the, the tour does that for the rookies or the returning members. That, I mean, it's definitely different financially from PJ Tour to Corn Ferry Tour. That, you know, I think out here, if it benefits us. We have a more professional team therapy trainer or a coach to travel with so yeah i mean the upfront money is definitely helpful for us to fund that so we don't really need to worry about that week in week out you know so i think it's, it was awesome just takes a little bit pressure off knowing that um you you don't have to press every week that if you have a bad week that you're, you're going to have something to help you out a little bit you know there's been a lot of changes out here for the top players which you know is is rightful so um they carry the tour um but it's the the younger guys and the and the bottom half of that top seven top 125 that that are the the heart of the tour as well so it's nice to take care of those guys um you know the tour is only as strong as your top one to 200 guys so um it's nice to take care of everyone